Apportez deux verres de Dom Perignon, s'il vous plaît. Bien. Oh, Tish, I love it when you speak French. Mm. <laughs> oh, look who's here. Bonsoir. Mm. Oh, a little late for you, though, isn't it, Max? Well, he took a little nap. <laughs> Arthur, I'd like you to meet my brother, mm -hmm. Maxwell oh. Sheffield, and his, um, <clears throat> nanny. <laughs> Oh, Miss Kit, you are so wonderful, and you look incredible. How do you ever stay so young? I have a nanny, too. <laughs> Lorenzo, darling. <laughs> Miss Kit, you were smashing. Merci. Oh, two handsome gentlemen in the same family. Back off, Catwoman. <laughs> well, the place is packed. Not bad for an immature child who knows nothing about business, eh, Max? Ah, this is on me. <sighs> Would you just look at him? <laughs> Working the room, picking up the tabs. Just wait till he spends a couple of sleepless nights wondering whether the thing that he's poured his heart and soul into is going to go under or not. Oh, he's such a dreamer. Wish you were him. Yeah. You know, I was him once. What happened, Miss Fine? What happened to my passion? Oh, I don't know. Maybe becoming too successful, you lose your passion. I know sometimes when I wake up in my mansion in my Ralph Lauren sheets and I look out my window at Park Avenue, I think, oh, maybe I'll just sleep in. Niles can get the kids ready for school. <laughs> but enough about me. Do you know what I'm gonna do, Miss Fine? Fire me? <laughs> I'm gonna get my passion back. Well, I'm right behind you, baby. The first thing I'm gonna do is tell my brother, good show. Uh -huh. Then I'm gonna ring my mother and tell her to sod off. <laughs> and the passion part would kick in exactly where? Right, right now. <laughs> right. I'm gonna go for it, Miss Fine. I'm gonna grab the brass ring. I'm gonna get back in touch and just do it. Go, grab, touch, do. Did I mention touch? <laughs> For God's sakes, I'm in Paris with a beautiful woman. Uh. Come on, let's blow this nightclub and see where life takes us. <laughs> yep, taking the next plane was definitely the right thing to do. Yeah, we switch flights in Rome, short layover in Amsterdam. We'll be home in uh, ooh, 19 hours. Yeah, it was definitely meant to be. Oh. Oh. What the hell was that? Oh, just a little bump in the road. When we hit a deer, we're in the air. <laughs> oh, you have to picture yourself going along a little country lane with a few dips and potholes. Oh! What the bloody hell was that? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Calm down. Ma said to always look at the stewardesses, that they'll let you know when there's something to worry about. Oh, my God! Everybody stay in your seats! Fasten your seatbelt! <laughs> Oh, my God. Oh, God, I never thought it was going to end like this. I did. I'm finally flying first class with a handsome millionaire. Of course the plane would go down. What else? All right, everybody, now, just stay calm. Everything is fine. Okay. Would you put your damn tray away? You want to get us all killed? Okay, okay. Oh, Mr. Sheffield. I just want you to know that these last three years have been the best years of my life. Oh, God. My children. Oh, they adored you, Miss Fine. You know, now would be a good time to call me Fran. <laughs> Ow! I love you. go out to dinner with our grandparents. If they don't like you, then we don't like them. How are we supposed to be nice to people who hate you? Oh, sweetie, they don't hate me. Yeah, friend, they really hate you. <laughs> I don't understand why you don't even try to fight for us. 
Oh, sweetie, this is a very big decision. I mean, it's all very confusing. I just don't know what to tell you. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Look, you guys love me, I love you. What does the adoption paper do? It doesn't change a thing. It's just a little piece of paper. It doesn't mean anything. Piece of paper meant a lot when you wanted to marry Daddy. Well, that's different. That's community property. Fine, don't fight for us. We don't want to be a burden. We'll see each other at weddings and God forbid funerals. Oh, sweetie. They're not taking you away. They're just trying to stop the adoption. That's all. Now, come on. I want you to have a nice evening with your grandparents. Go put on something pretty and handsome. Just no animal princess sequence. These people have no regard for haute couture. <laughs> No offense, something did happen to Daddy. They could take them away, because you're not a legal mom. Darling, do you think I should go with the brown suit or the gray herring? Oh, coat? all right, look. I was arrested in 84. It was powdered sugar. And my principal did have an affair, but it was with Mrs. Simon. I had nothing to do with it. Oh, darling, 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 what are you talking about? Oh, sweetie, if we go and fight in court, they are gonna do an investigation on me, and there are things that you don't know about me that might come out. I mean, ugly things, very ugly things. <laughs> darling, darling, I know all about your past. Before I hired you as my nanny, I had you thoroughly investigated. What? Yeah, well, I'm not about to trust some stranger with my children, am I? Come on, didn't you, uh, didn't you check me out, hmm? Oh, I checked you well. So, you see, you have absolutely nothing to confess. I know everything about you. Everything? Even my age? Uh, actually, that was the one thing even the FBI couldn't verify. <laughs> the closest they could get was 31. 31? Well, I guess the truth is out. <laughs> Uh, listen, you guys, we really need to talk to you about this whole adoption issue. Yes, we, we don't want to fight you, but we will if we have to. Now, we want to do what's best for the children, and what's best for them is for all of us to be a family. Well, if Sarah were still here, we would be. Calm down, Roberta. They didn't kill her. <laughs> oh, Roberta. I don't mean to seem insensitive. I understand that the kids are your link to Sarah, but my adopting them is never going to change that. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, but uh, I worry that they don't even think about their mother anymore. That's not true, Grandma. We think about Mom all the time, and sometimes when we really miss her, Fran puts in old videotapes of her and watches them with us. <laughs> and every year on Mom's birthday, Fran has us light a Yortzite candle for her. A what? Well, it's a Jewish tradition. It sort of lights the way to a happy afterlife. Also in the Hebrew tradition, we're only allowed to light one candle on Fran's birthday cake, but I forget what that means. It's in the Torah. <laughs> it's very sacred. Roberta, Ernest, you'll always be welcome here, and you'll always be part of our family. Yes. Why don't you two join us and the children for dinner, and we'll continue this conversation. Mm -hmm. Listen, Ernie, is there anything that I can do to get on Bert's good side? Well, is there a Wiley's for ribs around here? <laughs> She's wild for the onion loaf. Uh -huh. <laughs> Listen, you guys, I want you to know that I love these children so very much, and I promise you that I'm going to provide them with a warm, loving, and most of all, stable environment. What time do you open? <laughs> Yana, I love you. I gotta go, sweetie. No, you can't talk to them now. Okay, here they are. <laughs> oh, we need to talk. I've got such exciting news. Uh, calm down, calm down. They're not geniuses. That was Niles talking. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go now. I love you too. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Bye. What is the one thing that separates me from all the successful people in this world? Success? This! Oh, 
no. You didn't write another Seinfeld episode, did you, sweetie? It's over. No, no, no. No, this is a new play. A friend of mine wrote it, and it's wonderful. Oh. I'm going to show it to Mr. Sheffield. He'll love it, produce it. I'll be his partner, become rich, and finally be able to get out of this stinking, rotten excuse for an existence. Not that it hasn't been a blast. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Oh, sir, I've got something very important to discuss mm. with you. And I know you'll listen, since you have great respect for my opinions. Oh, uh, by the way, have you scraped off my riding boots like I asked? Yes. <laughs> sir, I have discovered a wonderful new play that I would consider selling, mm? okay, giving, to Sheffield Babcock Productions in exchange for becoming a partner. Huh? Okay, copa, associate, junior, assistant. All right, I'll fetch the lattes. <laughs> well, we are partners, old man. <clears throat> I run the business, you run the home. I'm good at my specialty, you are wonderful at yours. <laughs> now, you wouldn't want to go and fiddle with what I consider to be one of the more successful partnerships everyone has ever known, would you? No, of course not, sir. Thank you, sir. Goodbye, sir. Mm. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> uh, well, I lost that exchange, didn't I? Oh, yes, sir. Oh. <laughs> well, forget it. What was I thinking? She's only ever going to think of me as just a domestic. Who? Oh, uh, no one. Not yours? Are you doing all this to impress a woman? Well, maybe. A little. Sorta. Kinda. Oh, are you in love? Well, maybe. A little. Sorta. Kinda. <laughs> but I'm, I'm just dreaming. There's no way that she would ever consider me. Oh, no. You're not still writing to Petula Clark, are you? Oh, no, 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 no. This, this isn't an infatuation. No, this is deep. I think, I think this might really be it. Well, have you told her how you feel? Oh, God, no. Well, you're gonna let her know. I mean, what woman wouldn't be thrilled to have you in her life? Oh. <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> and do you, Maggie? take Michael to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. <laughs> oh, Niles, I really wish you could be here. You should see how beautiful Maggie looks. <laughs> yes, everybody is using the coasters. Here's Miss Babcock. Normally, at this point in the ceremony, I like to say a few words about the couple embarking on their life. But I think the sentiments were best expressed by Barbara who just last night stood right here and sang, what are you doing the rest of your life? Oh. <laughs> she sang that too? <laughs> Fine, what are you doing? Uh, staying alive? <laughs> yalla, yalla. Uh, well, actually, you know, King, we were looking for you because we were gonna go into town, maybe have a little lunch, go visit the American Embassy. Would you be up for something like that? <laughs> Hi, Miss Fine. Oh, Miss Fine, there you are. Daddy, Finally, I found you. Oh. What are you doing here? How did you get in the palace? I, I, I just knocked on the palace door, and before I know it, everyone's bowing and scraping and kissing my ring. I have to say, this is the friendliest bloody country in the world. Yeah, well, it's a little too friendly if you ask me. Oh, oh. <laughs> Hello, Maxwell Chef. His Majesty, the Sultan, King Gahosan, Tadi al Musayr al Mustafa. Kasa. Oh, oh, uh, <clears throat> Your Majesty. So. This is the man you say I remind you of? Really? I, I don't see it. it. <laughs> this man was holding us hostage here. What do you mean, hostage? Oh, come now. I reject you and suddenly I can't find my tickets or my passport? I had them locked up in the palace safe. 
They're worth a great deal of money on the black market. Uh-huh. And why was there a guard outside of our door? There were some terrorist threats. I wanted to ensure your safety. All right, Mr. Know-it-all. How do you get the nougat inside a Three Musketeers bar? Actually, it's a three-tiered process. First, they turn the nougat into strips, and then they add a of caramel. Okay, okay. I'm telling you, Mr. Sheffield, this man was forcing me to stay here to be his wife. Go on, tell him, tell him. Wife? <laughs> I wanted you here as my nanny. <laughs> Oh, please. Well, well, what was all that talk about me staying here forever, huh? I have four wives. Goober is not the end of the line. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, I have no romantic interest in you whatsoever. You are free to leave at any time. Now would be good. <laughs> well, I'd better go say goodbye to Billy. Well, I'm still in this outfit. <laughs> Sheffield, I know that I'm not crazy. That king was coming on to me. Well, of course he was, Miss Fine. Of course he was. Anyone could see he was smitten with you. Wasn't he? Of course he was. He's a man. And unfortunately, some men are just not very good at expressing their feelings. <laughs> and I could see right through that, Sultan. Oh, yes, you'd start as his nanny, all right. And start working for him for a few years and uh, eventually be on a first name basis and then uh, one day he'd come to realize you were more important to him than his work and then ha then he'd tell you he loves you and uh, when does that happen right now I love you what? Fran, I love you. Hi! Hello! Oh, what a gorgeous chest! Oh, thank you. <laughs> Sammy, Sammy says I got the boobs of a 73-year-old. <laughs> Darling, I brought Yetta's hope chest. It's antique. I oh. thought it would be perfect for the nursery. Yeah, Yetta, you've got everything in here. Wow. Look at this picture. He's gorgeous. Who is that, Grandpa? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, look how cute that is. <laughs> Was this yours? Yeah, that was my first baby dress. Uh, Your mother's first one is in there, too. Uh, <laughs> oh, those are my old love letters that I wrote. Oh, to Grandpa? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it says, Dear Richard, Daddy's name was Joe. Would you believe Richard is short for Joe? No. All right. I'm busted. <laughs> I never told this to anyone, but I was in love once before your father. Wow, yeah. You had like a whole Dawson Stettel thing going on back then. <laughs> We met on the boat, coming over from Romania. My marriage to your grandfather was already planned, and he was waiting for me. But once I saw Richard... He was so handsome in his captain's uniform. He was a captain in the Navy? No, in the first-class dining room. <laughs> and when our eyes met... Did anything intimate happen between you and Richard? 
Of course not. I was on my way to meet my future husband. <laughs> we got separated on Ellis Island, and your grandfather was there waiting for me, but I told him I couldn't marry him because I wasn't sure of my feelings. So I looked for Richard for five years. I wrote him a letter every day. How did you know where to send the letters? I guess that's why I still have them. <laughs> so, Yetta, you're keeping us all in suspense. Who did you end up marrying, Richard or, or Fran's grandfather? <laughs> Sylvia. Sylvia, I, I don't want to lose you. I'm sorry if, if I didn't do or say the things that made you feel like you were appreciated. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know where the hell our 40 years have gone. I look at you and I see a, a sweet little 16-year-old girl behind a candy counter at Woolworths. Wearing a pale blue dress, and you're eating that chocolate covered cherry with the juice dripping down your mouth. It was marzipan. You remember my blue dress? I remember a lot of things, Sylvia. I just don't know why you don't know how I feel. I'll tell you now, Sylvia. I. Oh, God, I love you. I just, I just don't feel special anymore. Our life is like, there are no surprises anymore. No surprises, huh? You want a surprise? I'll, I'll give you a surprise. The very thought of you and I forget to do the little ordinary things that everyone ought to do. I, I'm afraid I'm making a terrible mistake. I was throwing up before I said yes to Niles, after I said yes to Niles. What if this feeling never stops? Think how thin you'll be. I'm just not sure I'm making the right decision. I'm sorry, that was another contraction. <laughs> you see, I'm over here having twins, and I happen to be in excruciating pain, but please, keep talking about yourself. <laughs> well, I mean, I really do love Niles, and I can't wait to marry him, because well, I cannot live with this nausea another moment. Okay, there are your wedding vows. <laughs> Maybe we should just elope and get this whole damn wedding thing over with. And there are your announcements. <laughs> To listen to me, as soon as you say I do, your angst will disappear. We can't get married without you and Maxwell there. And the children, I mean, you know how close I am to them. Who, oh, Macy, Bob, and Nancy? <laughs> yes. I want you all there. <laughs> Shh, I'm trying to think here. Oh, Nanny, fine. I am sorry. I am being so inconsiderate. Oh, well, you know what? I am done talking about me. The rest of the day is about you, you, you. I don't care how nauseous I am. I am not going to steal your thunder for one more moment. We are gathered here today to bring together two people in the bonds of holy matrimony. Come on, this is insane. Her contractions are only two minutes apart. Yeah, well, I'm dehydrating here. Move it along, Patrick. <laughs> Cece and Niles have asked to express their love for one another in their own words. Oh, I... Funny, that's the same sound I made the first time I saw you. <laughs> I remember it perfectly. The year was 1962, and four young hopefuls from Liverpool were just about... Step to the 90s! <laughs> Did they come back yet? Stanley, where's Morty already? 
He's waiting for my parking space. Uncle Stanley, why didn't you give him your space? He's my father. He should be here. What am I, chopped liver? <laughs> Just breathe. Just breathe, darling. Visualize. Visualize mountains. Visualize the ocean. A, a swaying it's palm tree. It's not working. Tree. It's not working. All right, well, how about Lomans? You're alone in the store with your own face gun. <laughs> Monsignor! Do you, Niles, take Chastity Claire to be your lawfully wedded wife? Chastity Claire? Oh, that's a beautiful name. Hopefully, don't flee. We're about to have two more guests at the wedding. Say, I do! I do! Hush! And do you, Chastity Claire, take... I do! I do! I do! I do. says I know you're the one for me she is the one for you Max Sarah hi Max my god <laughs> uh, am I completely lost it no 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 and you are making the right decision Max that's why I came I want you to know how happy I am for you. Oh, you are. <laughs> Look at your eyes. Look at your smile. <laughs> <laughs> I love what she's done for you. Oh, I am so happy to hear that, sir, because I am just crazy about... It's okay to love her, Max. I love her, too. Look at what she's done for our children. I will be grateful to her for the rest of my life. <laughs> it's an expression. <laughs> oh, Sarah, my darling Sarah. Oh, when I lost you, I, I couldn't handle anything, especially the children. Mm. And then, out of nowhere, this Meshuggah woman... <laughs> it's an expression. <laughs> She, uh, she came into our lives and, for the first time, made us all smile again. <sighs> okay, well, we gotta make Maggie beautiful. Yeah, like that's gonna happen. Shut up, Rachel. <laughs> hey, be nicer to your sister. Why, because we're a family? Yes, that's right. And someday, your father's gonna be old and sick. You're gonna want him to live with her. <laughs> I wrote you a poem, friend. You did? F is for the fun we have together. R is for the rummy that we play. A is for the answers to my questions. And N is for the nasal things you say. <laughs> In the locker room after gym. And? Friend, I'm smaller than everyone else. Smaller? How? Just forget it. It's too humiliating. Well, what could be so humiliating about being smaller in the locker room? <laughs> Honey, you know, if you don't want me to go out with him, just say so. I respect your feelings. Well, I don't want you to go out with him. Well, then I won't go out with him. I love you, and I'd never do anything to hurt you. I love you too, Fran. Then please let me go out with him. <laughs> I'm gonna grow old and die waiting for your father. Hello, sweetheart. Do you like my party dress? Lowman, 70% off. She'll never shop retail again. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Surprise? Uh, no tricks, Bryden. Best behavior. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Come on, Maggie. Don't be shy, honey. My God. I had no idea how much she looked like her mother. Oh, I think you'd really like her, Sarah. I do, Max. 
Why do you think I sent her to you? You sent her to me? <laughs> and you heard her speak? I thought she had a cold. 